Hi friends, it's Cindy the Jewelry Nurse. How are you all doing tonight? I hope everybody is doing well. I am having a pretty good week so far. It was a good holiday. I actually had this Monday off, which is rare. I usually work most Mondays that are holidays because the doctor usually has the Mondays off on the holidays, so we try and see patients in the private office. So, always crazy. But, so it was a rare treat to have a holiday off the same time with my husband. But I have for you a five pound thread up box that I promised in the last video that I just uploaded that I'm going to do. I've had it for a few months. I just never got time to um, go through it. But I think when I bought these, they were selling for $44.00 and i don't remember how much shipping i think it was five or six dollars shipping and they only do the five pound boxes now so um a lot of people have complained that they didn't like their box so i haven't heard a lot of good input on them since they increased the price so much and um you know a lot of not as much silver and stuff in them because my last box is when they first put them out i happened to get in early on so i got some of the you know, really good boxes with a lot of silver and they were i can't remember how much they were selling for them but really good price but like i said paid 44 dollars plus shipping for this one so it was over just over 50 dollars like 52 or something i'm not sure don't quote me on it but um my last bag that I did the first one wasn't too bad I actually found a couple of pretty decent silver pieces in it so I won't lose money on the bag I'm not going to get rich off of it and um, was a little spoilt on the bags I was getting before that particularly the 10 pounders but I won't complain because like I said not losing any money off of it so um, long as you can sell a couple of pieces and make your money back and you have some pretty jewelry to show people then that's what matters right also while i'm doing this i'm going to go ahead and pull a few pieces out um while i'm doing this getting ready to show you this i uh, just want to talk about my auction this weekend i'm having an auction on sunday um my channel um, unless Miss Vicki decides she wants to get in on the auction, then we might even have it on her channel. But it'll be this Sunday, hopefully 5 o'clock, unless we decide to restart um, Top 5 Faves. We've taken the summer off with Top 5 Faves, but we're about to start that again. So um, I'll let you know on that after I speak with um, the beautiful Miss Carla, Princess Casserole and find out if um, she's ready to start again. I know she had a very busy summer, and so it was really hard for her to do this. She lives in New York, and their summer season is really short, so she generally tries to, and she works very hard too. So she tries to do as much as she can during the summer, so not a lot of YouTube time anyways if you're new to the channel thank you for coming please um, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on your way back out if you're returning thank you for coming back and for all its support and i have to say that in my earlier video i totally embarrassingly forgot to um, thank two very important people in the last auction you know, of course, I thank Vicki and Sandy and um, Gianna and uh, Kelly and all the people that came on to auction things off. But what I forgot to thank was Thelma and um, Elizabeth. I cannot say enough about the two of them. They are both very kind, giving, compassionate people, as you know, um, Thelma's channel is more of an educational channel and um, she does a lot of unbagging and you know she does a lot with the jewelry but she's not a seller channel so she doesn't do auctions on her channel she does have a Facebook auction but she doesn't do any kind of selling on her channel so for her to allow us to come on and have an auction 
on her channel was just um, very kind and very heartwarming that she um, thought enough about us to let us do that and she's that supportive of Sandy so um, can't say enough about that and then again Elizabeth um, please go and watch Elizabeth's channel she's under makeup zombie I will put a link to both Thelma and um, Elizabeth in the description box under this video but Elizabeth has um, her showcase sales on Sundays and I'm not sure what time she starts. She starts earlier in the day, and I know she's Eastern, I believe. So she's usually done by around 7, 7.15 Eastern time. So I'll have to find out what time she starts, and I'll list that in the box. But if you're not yet subscribed to her, please go and subscribe to her and check out um, she what sh her jewelry and please support her channel. She was so generous that she donated a percentage of last week's um, showcase to our auction for Sandy so I mean that just you know that's just unbelievably generous um, to do a percentage you know that, that could <laughs> yeah that could end up being a whole lot of money so to be you know that generous particularly when um, I don't know that it's true so don't quote me but I've heard that her she is unemployed at the moment so to do that for somebody else just says a lot about who she is as a person and that's all that matters you know with anybody it's not about do you like their personality or not do you you know what kind of a person are they do they do good things in the world do they you know do they put out good things into the world and that's all that matters and Elizabeth definitely does and so does Thelma so and so does Sandy they all do but you know thank you Sandy and Elizabeth and Vicki and um, Thelma Gianna Kelly all of you and I hope I oh mama um, mama also came on and auctioned off a piece and I hope I'm not forgetting anybody if I am I apologize I will um, thank you profusely later if I think of anybody else before the end of the video but I just I know I keep going on about it but I just can't say thank you enough to those people for making it such a successful auction um, I really appreciate it love you guys thank you all okay so this looks like a juicy couture piece really does I don't know if it is for sure or not but it totally looks like a juicy couture I don't have to look it up and see I don't see juicy on it anywhere but it really does remind me of a couple of other juicy bracelets that I have even if it's not it is super cute it's uh you see if it's inlaid yeah it's like inlaid enamel gorgeous bracelet though really cute it's a, um, probably a small medium I have um, fits me really well very cute though so that has a J on it so I may have to send that one to my sister Jackie okay so that's a decent piece okay here is a piece that probably cost almost as much as this box new it's um little steampunk there um bohemian kind of um, skulls and rhinestones so you can't beat skulls and rhinestones but it is real leather it's a choker and I know exactly who's going to like this I've got a bunch of really cool leather pieces I'm going to put into my next auction I know a few people who really like these so I'm going to go ahead and put them in an auction um, this is Fung Yik Fung or fung yik i don't know which way it goes i'll have to look that up but i can tell that it's i've seen this brand before and i'm not sure 
how to pronounce it, but it is a very good leather. And it smells like good leather. So that piece there alone, this probably sold for almost as much as I paid for the box new. And these two pieces I know did. So I've already made my money back on it, I think, just from what I'm looking at. I think I've made my money back. And this is just a bracelet. I didn't say anything about it. Um, I think I have another piece made just like this with the boxes and the wooden the wood rectangle beads and the hollow silver or gold tone. Yep, seen it before. Okay, this is some beautiful AB blue crystals here. Hmm. It's a uh, vintage. I don't know if you guys remember when they were doing this. Um, I kind of missed out on that whole fad. I'm not sure what decade that is where they used, but this is a J. Crew, I believe. Yeah, this is one of the crew cuts, um, J. Crew. So kind of cute. And let me see. Yeah, these are glass crystals. Beautiful colors, though. The blue and the teal kind of go nice together there. So that's a crew cuts. So I don't think I'm doing so bad on this. I mean, just because you don't get a whole bunch of silver pieces and doesn't mean that your box is not worth it. Because sometimes these costume jewelry pieces can be, particularly new silver, can be worth more than the new silver. Unless you just happen to be lucky and get a lot of old vintage silver, the, um, costume jewelry sometimes can cost a lot more just depends on the brand and who makes it if it's the right designer doesn't matter what they make it out of still gonna sell for just as much if, if not more as gold and silver heck I've seen a few des silver designers that are way up there that sell their pieces for more than um, you could walk into a jewelry store and like buy gold for definitely cheaper than you could go in some place like a department store to their jewelry counter and buy gold for okay sorry i'm a little tangled up here there's some kind of crazy pieces in here this one's missing a piece i'm not sure where that goes but this is kind of tribal or native looking or something. I don't know. What would you call it? Tribal, native, or tribal maybe. Kind of cool. Looks, um, looks like nuts and beans. I forgot what these are called. If anybody remembers what those are called, and I can stick that back on there. But kind of cool. A couple of the beans are peeling, but it looks sort of tribal to me. Different. Very big. I'll show you on my neck if you all don't. Yeah, nope, I won't because I'm wearing an old funky t-shirt, so I'm not going to show you. <laughs> okay, but anyways, that is kind of cool. Very tribal looking. Too bad the beans are peeling. Okay, and here is a pair of paparazzi earrings. These are um, halite. Um, darn it, sorry. Can't walk and chew gum at the same time. Um, I'm going to send these, Gianna, if you're watching my video, I'm going to send these to you. I think they're flat enough that you can use them in a pair of your earrings or in a brooch or pendant or something, but I'm going to send those to you. Um, too bad I already shipped off a box to you recently. This was on a chain, but I think when I was untangling it, I pulled it off the chain. So it's one of the chains in this mess here, I believe another pendant that came off of the chain 
another halite piece, halite ring, stretch ring. This one's kind of cute. Check it out. Love these stretch rings because you can wear them on any finger. And you don't have to. And you can use these two guys as um, scarf ties too. Um, just put your tie through there, your scarf through there, and make it like a tie or a scarf clasp. Works great for that. And let's face it, you can get a lot fancier of these than you well than the scarf clasp. That's cute though, I like that. Not bad. There is my ring box. I try to keep my stuff sorted in the boxes. Like I've got one for rings, one for bracelets, one for silver, one for signed earrings, unsigned earrings, etc. So <laughs> I try and put the box behind me. I even have a box back there for all rhinestone stuff. So I don't have to sort it all out later. Let's see, I do have a box over here even for repair stuff. So let's try and figure out what that came off of. Here is another pendant that is signed and let's see what the designer is on this. And Coplick and this is probably about a forty fifty dollar pendant. I believe she is a there you go she's like an upper-end department store bland brand I believe but pendant chains probably in here somewhere and this looks like a ah, this looks like the same sort of um, Jade is the bracelet I just got from Sandy. You know where this is going. Can't tell if it's Jade or Adventure Rain. Have to look it up. Oh, I did not clean my fingernails very well. I was making pizza dough earlier. Shame for shame. I need to go clean those and I can't pause I hate that's the thing I hate about acrylics not much good for cooking okay what else do we got here it's a lot of tangling. I apologize for all the time of untangling. But this will, like I said, do two, hopefully two, maybe three videos on this one and this box and get them uploaded throughout the week. But do not forget my auction on Sunday on my channel. Hopefully um, Vicki joins me. And... Um, my MSP auction. I have some really good pieces for MSP auction. I'm going to do some, uh, I think I'm going to have a jar too. I'm either going to do a jar or a craft lot. I haven't decided, but either way, even if I do the craft lot, it will be all wearable pieces. But I need to thin out some of this jewelry. I just have a year of uh, Sundays and I would not be able to sell it all. So I think I'm going to make a couple of big lots of the unsigned pieces that I don't have the time to list. Like I said, we'll be wearable but also be good for crafters and just because it's not signed does not mean it is not wearable or 
not really nice. There's a lot of expensive designers out there that don't necessarily sign, so you never know. You could be getting a very expensive piece and not know it. You can tell by the quality. Uh, I'm just going to have to untangle these later. Can't get them untangled now, so I'll untangle them in the next video. Um, this looks like, oh, some really cute earrings. I think this is a set. They're all hooked together. Well, thank you for that. Nice earrings and a really pretty peachy color. Salmon, more like a salmon is what I'd call it, not peach. But really appreciate that you put them together. And then, of course, the fabulous beading chain. Not being wire, but beading chain. And this is very heavy beading chain. Nice set, though. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Now, see, this is a piece that I'm talking about. This is very well made, and it's very good quality. It's as good as Monet or J. Crew or JJ or Trafari or any of those other brands. It's just not signed, and it's as well made as any of those. So that's the kind of lot that I'm talking about with that kind of stuff in it that's cute you know I like to do sets too so I'll keep that together okay so let me pull out a few more pieces for this round and then I'm going to pause and do part two I'll do another pile here and then we'll go to part two and try and get to all of the un oh yeah party look at this this is a memory wire bracelet and it is intertwined with rhinestones and crystals. Wow, loving this. This is also a piece that you could wear. Let me check it out before I say that and make sure you could do that. Um, an arm cuff. Too. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. That is so pretty. Try and get the light on it just right. Gorgeous. Very, very gorgeous. It's not missing any rhinestones. This would be such an elegant night out piece. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, let's see if we could wear this as an arm bracelet. Like an armband, upper armband. I bet you could. Let's try it. Like I said, I'm wearing a t-shirt, so... definitely do that you just have to take a little more time to twist it than than I did but yeah you could definitely wear it like that I just don't have it put on very well but yes very cute sorry you know you don't want to look at my keyboard and I promise you I won't keep moving it around but needed to try that on okay is this a bracelet it's signed I see something in there Looks like an M. Definitely has a designer mark. For a second there, I thought it was like a purse hook. But I guess it's a bracelet. Needs a little bit of polishing up. So a little bit beat up. But it does have a designer name on it right there. Hallmark seen that M before. I'm not sure who it is, but I have seen it before. Okay, this is the back. It's the front. It's a beautiful scroll, enamel scroll work. Is that enamel or ceramic? No, hold on. Yeah, I think it's enameling. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? The design repeats on the back. 
Oh, it does. No. Oh, yep, it does have a tag. Let's see what the tag says. The tag says... Baked beads. Okay, I've seen this brand before, too. They do a lot of um, handmade beads like this. And... I've had a few of their pieces. Baked beads, though. Some really pretty hand-drawn designs. And I think they do these with ink. And then they kind of shrink it into enamel sort of thing. Don't know the whole process, but very cool. So another signed piece. So I don't know about y'all, but I don't think I'm doing too bad on this box so far. No silver, but I've got some stuff that's better than, a few pieces better than silver. No signatures on here, but it is a three-leaf clover there, a shamrock stick pen. Looks almost new. Some nice pieces in here so far. This is cute. It's not signed, but it's not bad. A little bit of color wear at the top of the chain from touching the neck. But that would look really cute with the right um, neckline. Peach and yellow together. Let's see if I can move some of these pieces out of the way. Save that and that. Okay. Alrighty, what do we got here? This looks like a J. Crew piece. It is missing two stones, but I think I can replace those easily enough. This is a beautiful J. Crew piece. Pretty colors. There we go. I'm trying to find my camera. J. Crew made a lot of these uh, statement necklaces in the 80s and 90s, I think. But a lot of it in the 80s. The 80s were, you don't even have to look at that to tell you it was a J. Crew. I tend to find a lot of J. Crew in this area, but this um, box, I think, came from Indiana, Indianapolis. Not from my trip, but from the the shop or not wait a minute I'm thinking of my thread up or my shop goodwill box that I have back there no this is a thread up box never mind I take that back I do have a thread up or a shop goodwill box that came from Indianapolis area that I was confusing this with but another um, nice J crew piece just needs a couple of rhinestones added here are some pearls that has a signature. Let's see what it says. This is Trafari. And it has a trademark, TM, instead of a copyright. That pretty set of Trafari, just basic pearls. What do you call that? Is it T-length, the short ones? I don't know. The dresses and pearls, same thing. has a has a, you call each link by a different thing, and I don't know what it is, but, oh, here's another one of those natural stone bracelets. This one is beautiful pieces of um, tiger's eye. Remember when they used to have these everywhere, all over department stores, all natural gemstones? So, Two of those in that box. So loving the uh, loving the 
Trafari pearls though, very classic. Okay, here's another um, statement piece. It is not signed, but the colors are awesome. light down there just right without having it fall on us there we go nice though it's all acrylic but they're made to look like stone but they're all acrylic beads pretty colors though that will probably go in a craft box ooh pretty Oh, I know who's going to like this shell. Look at that really thick piece of mother of pearl shell there. Oh my goodness. Beautiful piece. Vicki loves these, so I try and send these to her whenever I send her a box. Got some pretty enameling on there, too. I think I've got some earrings that might match that. If I can find those, those will go to Vicki also. Throw that back there. I have a box that I was just about to zip close and mail to her tomorrow. So then I thought, nope, I'm going to do this video. Let me finish this video before I sell Vicky's box. Okay, these are all tangled, so they're going to have to go into the next round. Oh, here's a really thick, heavy bangle. A little bent up. Uh, they saw a signature on it or a mark but take that back it was just a seam it's actually a really heavy thick one though and I believe I have oh isn't that cute a little umbrella earring very cute first earring though I think did I come across any uh, the other ones with the necklace? But not a lot of earrings in this one so far. So I have, and I might have sold it already, but I had another mesh bracelet like this, but I think it was like tricolor. It was uh, silver, gold, and gunmetal. But kind of a cool magnetic bracelet. They are actually kind of cool looking. Sorry, but moving that camera that first time, I can never get it set back where I want it. So I know not to do that, but I end up doing it anyway. So I apologize. This is really cool. Needs some cleaning, but very cool. Mesh bracelet. Very vintage. Did I have to show you one more piece? Then I'm going to close this one and I'll finish off the rest of the box with one more video. Okay, so another bracelet and it says, okay, where does it start? I'd let the sun shine so you'd never be blue. I'd show the world how beautifully you grew with bright, bold colors and strength throughout, through and through. If sisters were flowers, I'd still pick you. Huh? Very cool. Very cool. So it has a little sister, sister thing there. Very cute actually in pretty good condition too and I have to send that to one of my sissies too with the other bracelet lucky that my sisters both like to wear jewelry as much as I do cool bangle but it's a little beat up it looks like um it's painted on the inside it's made to look sort of like lacquer but I'm not sure what it's made out of because it's denting like not like acrylic Huge bracelet though. Oh, but tiny, tiny. The wrist that could fit in that would be so unbelievably small. 
and that would be a huge bracelet for such a small wrist but beautiful color though it's a bright bright teal blue and it's got a kind of a watercolor design beautiful but a little bit beat up and way too small it's a shame that it's so small it might be wood it doesn't sound like wood it looks like wood on the inside but it doesn't sound like it and it's dinged not really sure what that's made out of hmm some kind of composite okay thank you for joining me tonight this is part one of this um, five pound thread up box i will be back shortly with part two and um it will be uploaded within a day or two of this one so thank you for watching if you are new to the channel please um don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up on your way out if you have a channel of your own um, please leave me a comment and tell me about the channel in the comment section. I would love to come and check out your channel and see what you do on your channel. So don't forget to tell me about your channels. And I appreciate all of you. Love you all. Thank you for all that you do. And thank you for the support of my channel. I will see you guys on Sunday with Vicki. And um, maybe sandy i don't know whoever else i can talk into coming on i know gianna has taken a little while um a little few months off from the auctions um but she's got uh, grandkids that are back in school so kind of messes up her schedule a little bit there but she'll be back and she'll be doing um tutorials so but no auctions for a little while so thank you guys for watching and i will also see you for um MSP on October 19th. Thank you all. Good night.